Egg Stampin' Sharon. Today's video is to celebrate a fun holiday, World Card Making Day. I thought how perfect would it be if I gave you a template to make 12 cards using one sheet of designer series paper. Let me show you my cards. With the Share What You Love specialty designer series papers, I used black embossing for all my sentiments. These were some fast, easy cards. I pulled in the background, the Buffalo check background. A little different, but I liked it. I used scraps of Whisper White, and um, by the way, this took me less than two sheets of the basic black to do my matting, so I had some scraps left over. I did a little bit of watercoloring with the Aqua Painter, trying to match the color of the flowers. Added a little bow, again with some scrap Whisper White and some leftover pieces from my basic black. Added a little ribbon. These were super simple to put together. This is the one that I keep looking at. Do I like it or not? I used the marbled background and I inked it up first with pear pizzazz and then I sponged old olive on there, again, trying to match my colors. This one I didn't like at first, but I do like it. I like having the stamps as the background and just a little piece, oh, that kind of slid down a little bit, just a little piece of designer series paper. Did my stamping, added my Wink Estella on there. Can you see that? So pretty. So now I have some sympathy cards, get well cards, thank you cards. Here's another get well. I added, I cut out using some framelits. I added some silver uh, foil paper, a little ribbon layered with my little framelits. And on this one, I just did happy birthday. And then the more I kept looking, I was like, why didn't I do the happy birthday word with using the framelits in another color? That's kind of a depressing black happy birthday. But I was like, well, it could be for somebody who's turning what, 50, 60? 40, I don't know, what do they say, over the hill for 40? Anyway, so these are the cards that I did um, with one sheet of the Share What You Love Designer Series Specialty Papers. Now let me show you the cards I made with the Christmas paper. So with World Card Making Day, the idea is to make a bunch of cards. Let's make 12 cards out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper, adding some paper for backing, any stamp set you want, any like any kind of stamps, like flowers, sentiments, whatever you want, background stamps, because that's what I did. Um, it's just the possibilities are endless, and the fun part is playing with the design once you've cut out your paper. All right, so as I was doing my template, I decided at first I was gonna do one and a half and one and a half inch strips. I changed my mind. I'm gonna do a one inch strip here, here I was gonna do three, three, uh, three little uh, squares. I decided that was too much, they were too tiny. So I'm changing this to be four inches, four inches, four inches, and then that way I don't have any waste. So as you start making your template, you can change it, it's perfectly okay. We're gonna do a Christmas one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over, and again, this is hard to see, so I'm going to be using a Sharpie, because remember, I've already done my template. If you don't have a piece of um, Whisper White 12 by 12, the backing that comes in the uh, designer series papers that tells you what's in it and all of that, makes a perfect template. It's a great um, weight. Use a pencil to draw out your diagram, and then I would go back with a Sharpie and make it more permanent so that you have that template. What if you wanna make 24 cards? What if you wanna make 36 cards? I also found that it's easier for me to take the ruler, line it up off the paper when I'm making my little tick marks because then that way my ruler is straight against the paper and I know that when I go to start connecting the dots, everything's gonna line up. 
So the first one I want to do is at three inches. Then I'm going to go two more inches down to make it five inches. I'm going to go three inches down to make it eight. And then I'm going to go one inch and that gives me three inches left over. I'm going to turn the paper once, line up my ruler, and I'm going to come down five and a half inches and then I'm going to slide my ruler because I want it to be one and a quarter. I am reading upside down so it's a little bit harder and then that should leave me with a five and a quarter inch piece and it does. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it so here was my ticks, here was my ticks, now I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do my ticks on this side and the reason that I'm doing this is because when you go to start making your template, I want it to be, um, I don't want you to have any mistakes. And I found that if I did the tick marks all the way around, I got confused, where did I start? So we're gonna just do three sides for now. So on this side, we're gonna come down at five, actually, I want to, and I gotta do this backwards again. Um, I want to start, at, I'm reading, my, I'm reading my diagram backwards. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come at five and a quarter, and I'm gonna do one and a quarter, and then that leaves me five and a half. Perfect, that's what I wanted. Now we're gonna do some connecting of the dots so that we don't get messed up. So I'm gonna connect these dots first. So we're working in, whoops, my fingernail got there. It's okay, it's on the back. Nobody's gonna see this side. So I'm gonna connect this one and this one. And we're gonna finish the top part before we move down. So now what I wanna do, I'm gonna turn my ruler around and I'm going to use this line that I've already drawn to line up my ruler. And I want three inches, another inch, so I'm at four. And then I'm gonna to go to so it's seven inches. I'm adding three plus four is seven and then I'm gonna to go to nine inches, and then I'll be able to connect my dots. I know this may be hard for you to see on the video um, with all the dots and everything, but hopefully you're understanding what I'm saying. Work in sections. Whoops, we forgot one. I've done One Sheet Wonders before and I had someone tell me, oh, I loved it, but I couldn't do this part. That's why I wanna go through it with you. I thought it was pretty self-explanatory to just use the template, but she says she got confused and she just started cutting pieces off of her DSP. Didn't quite turn out the way she wanted, but um, that's just how she ended up doing it. Okay, so I know that this is my four inch line. I'm gonna go ahead and make a tick mark, four inches, and then I'm gonna go to eight inches. I do the same thing again. This is, whoops, see I didn't have it lined up right, <clears throat> sorry. So four and eight, and now I'm gonna connect. So see how we're building down the page? 
So for this last part, I know I need two and a half. I'm gonna come up a little bit closer. And then one and a half. It is really hard to see one and a half and then I'm gonna go four inches and then I will have my four inch mark there. I'm gonna turn this around. Whoops, <clears throat> see if I can see it better this way because it's really hard to see on that paper. Okay, so um, this was at two and a half. And then I went down one and a half. And then at four. Okay, so now we can connect these dots. A Sharpie does seem to make it a little bit, see that looks crooked to me. Um, the, the Sharpie lines, let's see this one. The Sharpie lines are a little bit fatter. Yeah, for some reason I'm not lining up. Let me do this again. And this is what you may have to do when you're playing with your template. So two and a half. Boy, that looked crooked. All right, it's all two and a half, so we're gonna go for it. So now I have my Christmas pattern. The first thing I want you to do is to cut that one inch strip. When you cut that one inch strip, and then you can start cutting these pieces, you're not gonna have a problem. Now that I've cut all my pieces, the next thing I'm gonna do is go mat it with either Cherry Cobbler or the Mossy Meadow Green, and then start making my cards. So I mentioned that Merry Christmas to All would be the perfect stamp set to use for my Christmas pattern. It was so perfect, um, but I have a tip to share with you first before I show you the cards. Um, there's lots of words, and they are photopolymer. When you have photopolymer stamps and you're trying to line them up, use your grid paper um, or any kind of line paper. But what I was having trouble with is that the photopolymer stamps were sticking to my fingernails when I was trying to line them up. Eraser on a pencil worked so perfectly. So I'm lining the C up. Lining up the S, lining up the M, lining up the Y, the hoop part of the Y, and then grab your block, pick up the words. Now, mine are stained, photopolymer stamps stained, and sometimes they do leave a residue even though I cleaned them. So you always wanna be careful um, I like to just, if, if I have some really stained stamps, I like to just keep stamping, stamping, stamping until it's clean. Then you could change colors because if I put that in a yellow or a light colored uh, ink pad, it would muddy up my pad. So there's your tip of the day. Now let me show you the cards because, oh my gosh, these were so much fun to make. Okay, does that not look like a package? Thought it looked like a package with a little tag. I stamped Merry Christmas using my little tip that I showed you, but I inked up Merry in the Mossy Meadow and I inked up Christmas in the Cherry Cobbler. Played with the little leaves a little bit. Again with the leaves, thought that was a fun little touch. That beautiful cherry cobbler ribbon that is um, 
two-sided. Um, on the other side is more um, copper. So I thought that added a nice touch. This is my favorite one. Oh my gosh, totally looks like a package. Brought in some gold embossing. Love that sentiment, by the way. More gold embossing. I did switch up and change up my card base and didn't just stick to very vanilla. Look how fun. They all turned out so cute. Look at all the ideas. And here's my last one. I hope that you will do a one sheet wonder. It really is wonderful. And just by adding your stamps, some ribbon, some embossing, you can just have so much fun. The fun was in the creating part. So happy stamping, y'all. I hope you liked those cards. And if you did, remember, you can change the sentiments, use your own designer series paper. You don't have to pick the one I did. And um, you can download the template that I created. Um, I'll have the link below. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend it with me.